People always ask me where these crazy ideas come from. And so I tell them, my dungeon, of course. There I am, hard at work on this story. I sit back, I turn up the music, I light a candle, I drink some coffee, and I get lost in this world. This is where I wrote Bone Man's Daughters. This is where I wrote The Bride Collector. And this is where I wrote The Priest's Graveyard. Welcome to my dungeon. So here we are, two years in the making together. The first we had The Bone Man's Daughters. The second novel, The Bride Collector. NPR ran a poll this summer with over 100,000 votes coming in to find the, the top 100 best thrillers ever written. The Bride Collector landed in the top 50 of that poll. The response has been fantastic on this novel. Now we come to our third novel, The Priest's Graveyard, and I have to say of the three, this one has to be my favorite. The need to bring justice into a situation where there's terrible injustice is irresistible. It's that need that I'm playing on in The Priest's Graveyard. A story about a priest who is absolutely disgusted with his hypocrisy that he sees in society, in particular amongst religion. And having witnessed Catholic Christians killing Orthodox Christians in Bosnia where he grew up, he has decided that he must bring justice into this situation. It's a, it's a vigilante story about a priest who's a vigilante. I mean, it's irresistible in this way alone. But things go terribly wrong when, the, when a young woman falls in love with him and he falls in love with her. Her name is Renee and she's the protagonist. And she wants to become like him. But that can't be, of course. How can a young woman become a killer like him? He's a priest. He's a good man. He would never lead a young woman down this path. It all gets very, very ugly, and it's all very, very fascinating in the end. But it plays on this one emotion of bringing justice into a world full of injustice. And that's the priest's graveyard. I've been publishing books now for about 15 years. And uh, I've written over 25 novels. And I have to say that my move to Hachette and Center Street two years ago was without doubt the most impactful decision I've ever made. The first book was Bowman's Daughters and it's the first novel of mine to approach 500,000, almost 500,000 units sold, all editions including mass, in the first 12 months. I mean prior to this my best numbers were about 150,000 so we've more than tripled my sales. That's a huge step for me and I owe it all to you guys. I'm Seriously, very, very grateful.